Hi guys, thanks for dropping by. I have six tips I wanna go over today to help you become more successful in Airbnb. Fill your calendar up and make more money monthly. There is a bonus quick tip that you can do every day at the end of the video, so make sure you watch that. Let's roll it. We're gonna go from number six all the way down to number one. So start with the end in mind. What that means is we need to get good reviews in order to drive your prices up on your Airbnb. So here's how we do that. We do that with good communication. So here's what we do. We send a message to the guest right when they book saying, thank you for booking our property. We will send you more information about a week before check-in. So a week before check-in, we send the access code, we send some instructions for the property, and a few things that we like to do once we actually get to the property. The day before the check-in, we send them the weather report for the whole time that they're gonna be there, we send them our favorite restaurants that we like to visit, and we send the access code again. So the next thing we do is we check on the cleaners and if the cleaners are done with the property the day that they're going to check in, we send a message to the guest again the day that they're going to check in and say, hey, you guys can check in a couple hours early because we checked on the cleaning services and it looks like the property's ready. So you're building good rapport and you are developing a good communication style. Also, if the guest sends you a message back, it's important that you get back with them in one hour. The way you do that is to make sure that you load the Airbnb notification app on your phone and it will ping you every time the guest sends a message. So number five is create some family activities at your property. So what we did is we went to Goodwill and we bought a bunch of board games and a bunch of puzzles for about $2 each. Don't go broke on Amazon or Walmart buying these games. Just go to your secondhand store and buy a bunch of games that they have. We also bought a cornhole board for outside, the one you toss the bean bags in. Everybody loves that game. We also got a huge Jenga game for outside and the blocks are like this. You can stack them to be about five feet tall. So you're creating a family atmosphere. We have bikes there also. So everybody wants to picture themselves, so make sure that they can picture themselves, so take pictures of these and put them on your Airbnb site so they can actually see the whole family having fun with all these activities. So number four is change your cover photo at least once a quarter. The most important photo that you have in your whole site is going to be that cover photo. That's what drives people to look at your property. But if they're not driven to look at that and you change to a different perspective, they might actually see the same property, the same listing with a different cover photo and say, hey, I love the way this property looks. So the cover photo, most important, get a great photo, get great lighting in that photo, and it needs to be in the horizontal landscape view if you're taking it with your iPhone. Number three, super important, check out your competition about every other month. So look in your area for properties that are the same footprint and the same square foot as your property, not only at what they're renting per night, but I want you to take a keen eye and look around their property. What does that house offer that you don't? Do they have different light fixtures that you like better? Do they have different towels hanging out? Do they have different pictures on the wall or a map that's kind of cool? Mirror what you like in their property. Do your research, take ideas, steal the competition's ideas and make your property the best that it can be. Number two, we spent about $25 and got 500 business cards made up that we leave behind on the table at our Airbnb. On the bottom here is the Airbnb link to our property, copied straight from Airbnb. 
and you can Google that and it's gonna lead straight to our property. On the back of this, it says you can save 10% if you mention this card right here. What we wanna do is get return guests to our property and this is one way we found that we can get return guests to our property. The number one tip is have a great smart lock. Have a great smart lock with an app that's easy to use. Turn notifications on so you can get notifications when the cleaner checks in and the, when the cleaner's done with your property, when the guest checks in, when the guest checks out. If you have service people that need to go over there, you can create a code for them temporarily and put that in. You can see when they got there, when they left. We use the ENCODE Sledge Smart Lock, super easy to use, super easy to add and delete codes. You can have up to 100 cones and it runs on Wi-Fi. Make sure you get a Wi-Fi Smart Lock, not something that requires a hub. That is my number one tip for you. Bonus tip. Upon leaving, you are able to review the guests. So what we like to do in that review is ask them, hey, we hope you had a great time, but is there anything that we can add to the property, anything that's missing that would make your stay better next time? So you're actually asking them what you can do better, but you're calling them out, a call to action for them to come stay with you again. So we're trying to get your property as good as possible by getting some feedback from guests that have stayed there. We also want those guests to stay with us again. So the juicy daily tip that you've been waiting for is to log on to Airbnb every single morning when you get up, scroll down to your descriptions, change your description just by a little, you're maybe just adding a dash or a slash. Maybe you're adding a period in, noting that you only have 500 characters. But if you add this, it actually notifies Airbnb that you've been active on the site that day. It's fantastic daily tip, super easy to do, takes about 10 seconds. You guys should do that every single day. Thanks for watching, you guys. I appreciate it. If you got something out of this, give me a like. Give me a subscribe mainly to learn more about what you can do for your Airbnb to make it more profitable and to fill those vacant days. Keep grinding, guys.